So what's going on guys? My name is Mr. Dalek JD. Thank you for joining me where today I'm going to be showing you guys the brand new Black Ops 3 story campaign trailer which takes a look at the premise of what's going to be going on in the campaign of Black Ops 3 set in the year 2065 where everything is wrong. I'm sure I'll be able to explain a lot more once you guys have seen the trailer so let's jump straight into it and afterwards I'll go ahead and break it down but if you guys enjoy this and are hyped for Black Ops 3 definitely smash that like button. Let's get into it. We wanted a perfect future, and fuck, we got it. I wanted to be a killing machine, and they made me one. One of the perks of being Black Ops is having access to the latest in experimental weaponry. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface. Your mind truly is your greatest weapon. My brothers have gone dark, but nobody knows just how far. Holy shit. I don't think these people volunteered. I've got to chase the chaos as deep as it goes. The last recorded operation at this station was John Taylor's team. The people who did this are traitors. They're gonna continue to help the enemy. We need to fight back. But when I look at the hard truth, I may not want to come back. When people really want to bury secrets, they tend to bury bodies right along with them. You think Taylor's team killed our people? I don't know how much of the real Taylor is left. Please don't. You don't know what this will do. I can feel it taking over. Not even my mind is safe. You still in there, John? Do you hear me? You don't understand. I'm taking us home. So there is our look at the Black Ops 3 campaign. This story looks very, very dark. Of course, what we love and expect from Triarch, but this one looks very, very good. And the, just the graphics are just absolutely mind-blowing. The storytelling is definitely going to be incredible, and it is very, very dark. And that's the kind of thing that I really, really like. So let's jump straight into the breakdown now. So looking at the very start, this kind of section we have here, which isn't gameplay, is all from the start of the story, which is in, relating to an incident that happened in Singapore. Now, apparently this incident changed everything. 100,000 people died on that day. In a few years since, as that number climbed towards a million, Singapore's status as the world's beacon burned out, its money and talent flowing to Zurich. There are rumours that Singapore's gangsters have taken over some of the worst hit areas, slowly repopulating cockroaches after a nuke, but the city won't ever catch up. The gap is just extremely big. Now, this incident incident first occurred at the Coalescence Corporation's research facility and at the time of the incident the cause of this incident is unknown and there's a 30 mile quarantine zone which has been established to contain the error until more information is unknown. The citizens around there are saying they have to stay in their homes and they keep their doors and windows closed and a state of martial law has been declared and will remain in place until the incident is firmly understood. Now, as this event took place in Singapore, it also followed the largest leak of military information in history, and it's up to the Black Ops unit to uncover the truth. And that is where our characters in the trailer come into play. They are all a part of the prototype Black Ops unit, and in this campaign, there are two factions fighting each other, the Common Defense Pact and the Black Ops soldiers. Now, as we see in the trailer, that robotics have become persuasive, and so has bio-augmentation, and all 
all these soldiers in the Black Ops unit have access to cutting edge technology known as the direct neural interface, which connects a soldier's retina and nervous system to their combat armor and weapon systems, which gives them both omnipresent computer connected battlefield awareness and instant combat reflexes. But of course, this doesn't come without a cost. And as you can see during the trailer, it seems that this direct neural interface eventually takes hold of people and by doing so removes their memories or slightly alters them. But there are a few really cool sections in this trailer which show this off. Now the quote we get in the trailer which signifies about the DNI is when our character here says, I can feel it taking over, even my mind isn't safe. And we're seeing versions of events happening what appear to be in two different timelines. We're seeing what looks like a tank set in World War 2 then all of a sudden you see and realize that actually that's not actually happening in World War 2 could have been something which did happen in this person's lifetime in World War 2 but is now happening in the relevant time of 2065 and we see a lot of moments of time jumping back and forth as these memories are being scrambled in this person's brain. Now this reminds me of a lot of the stuff that we were seeing in the snapchats way back in April from Dr. Salim and this kind of relates and kind of makes a lot more sense now and we're seeing more references to this blackbird that we see flying at the start of the trailer to signify that there's a lot of bad things happening in 2065 and it jumps all the way back into these kind of weird time jumps into the kind of World War 2 section where we see that bird towards the end and we also see the frozen forest which is definitely going to play an important role in this person's memory and is something that was very very important that happened there during that time. Now there's one very very interesting shot from the frozen forest actually that I can't quite work out what's going on if you guys have any ideas do let me know down below in the comment section but it looks like a very very interesting screenshot there is what looks like to be two figures standing by this tree in this frozen forest we know it's important because it's been teased ever since april but we still don't quite know what it means so it seems to me that this dni this direct neural interface is both a burden and something which is very negative towards anyone that has it. They don't realize it at first because it gives them this cutting edge awareness around the battlefield, being able to have instant combat reflexes, but it also has this very negative attribute as well where it will slowly transform and change your memories from what you once had and you'll completely change the way that you are. And this is a really, really dark theme that Treyarch are going down, but I feel this is very, very cool. Reminds me a lot of Black Ops 1 actually, and I can't wait to see how this is explored further in the campaign missions and you can just tell that this is a very very deep and well thought out story. It's also going to be great that we're going to be getting missions which jump between 2065 and World War 2. We have the tank that I've pointed out before and we also have this soldier who is definitely wearing what looks like World War 2 uniform. There's also a little frame where we see a drawing of what appears to be Victor Reznov who could be making a return into Black Ops 3. I mean he wouldn't be in there for no reason that definitely looks like Reznov to me but aside from that that's all I've got for this breakdown of the Black Ops 3 story trailer if I missed anything and you want to help some guys out in the comment section definitely drop a comment let me know what you think and also what your take on the trailer is and if you saw anything that I didn't mention in this one if there is anything really really uh, big that I did miss I'll make another video for you guys covering it but I think this story is really really awesome and you guys always enjoy when I make videos on the Black Ops story so I'll definitely keep them coming if there is any more information but thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed make sure to smash that like button and if you're not already make sure to subscribe as i'll bring you guys a lot more black ops 3 news and videos as we get closer to the release and of course once it's out i'll bring you guys so many videos so make sure to check those out make sure to follow me on facebook and twitter down below in the description as well you'll be entered into a juggernaut giveaway over there thank you for watching guys and i'll catch you on another one soon